I'm recording this while it's Halloween. I always record my videos like at least one day in advance. Um, but yeah, here we go, 96. Classic Impalas and the new Punch 84. Let's go. Damn, dude. This photo shoot is freaking sexy. Here we go, Pro Hapa. A lot of advertisements, a lot of crunching. How to build a car, how to clean your car. But oh, wait, the first lowrider articles. Here we go. The ketchup only bill. Inez detains Mexican beauty queen. What? Oh no. Here we go. McDukes meets McDonald's. What? McDukes meets McDonald's? Pretty funny. Oh yeah, they're right there on the top left. They have a picture with Ronald McDonald. Cool crossover in the Chicano universe. Here we go. Who's on the bottom? The Frost in El Paso promoting his song, Smile Now, Die Later. That's a sick ass title. You gotta look it up. Here's a super cool picture of a crowd. También right next to Frost. Man, that old school hair. You got a, like a chongo, but you also have like a fleco. A little combination. And then the rides. Damn, that orange one. This one right here looks like it's glowing. That's really cool. I know it's hard to capture some, some lighting with cameras, but... That right there was captured very well. Here we go. Damn, the top two rides on the top. Whew. Special Dreams Caddy. And right over here, one of a kind car club, another Cadillac. Man, I'm, I don't like Cadillacs too much, but those look really cool. Then we here got Revelations. Some Sexy Women's. More pictures of El Paso, the Macho Men's, and Majesty Girls. Macho Men and Majesty Girls. Damn, dude, this picture right here. Thousands came to enjoy the show. Majesty Car Club were in the house. R&R &R Model Car Club includes those people. Uh, that's pretty cool. Kids in the model car club. And, um, yeah, this, this, um, the super show looked like it had a lot of beautiful models, a lot of cool people at the show. Here we go. Is this the cover car? I think it is. Man, Chef's Kiss, Money Green. This is a Southside Car Club member Armando Armando Diaz of LA. A 59 Chevy convertible. Damn, the 59s look like Bel Airs <laughs> from the back. That's pretty cool. And so he bought it for 7,000 stock. And then two years and a half later, he spent $50,000 and a shitload of patience. Damn, dude. Whew. And this was back in 90, 96. So now, damn. I wonder if he still has his ride. Beautiful car. Money green. Here are the bottles right here. Damn, that fool is big. That fool is just like huge. And it's like. Him and his minions. Wheels. Wheels on wheels on wheels. More wheels. More wheels. Here we go. Godfather Customs. El Padrino. Wheels. Here we go. The Perfections Foreign Family. Foreign Family. It's a foreign family affair. Hey, this is a sick-ass ride. 
Keep it clean, this Honda's is this Honda owner's motto. 23 year old from Bakersfield, Brett Dennis, Honda Prelude, 1991. Foreign Fan, oh wait, these are two different cars. The Perfectionist and Foreign Fantasy. So that's the one on the left. On the one on the right is a, man, there's so many words, but I can't find what it is. Whatever. Well, the one to the left is a Honda Prelude. And this is another Honda, but just don't know what, what it is. Don't know what model. We've seen this one before. I'm going to turn the magazine around. The wheels. The wheels is on fire. Fleetland Killer. Robert Solis, 48. Is a Bomba Supreme. <laughs> this will got the Bomba Supreme. Man, nice color. I love it. Um, it's really bright. But I feel like um, I don't know. Usually with these, you can you you can usually see the reflection really clear. But I think they kind of took this picture in the night. That's why you can't really see the reflection that much. But or not in the night, but like in the sunset, you know. And uh, yeah, really cool. I love how they cover the wheels sometimes. It's pretty interesting. What year is this? Oh yeah, 48, duh. This is really cool. 48 Chevy Fleet Line. Man, super nice. Here we go, the switch is on to Lanzar. Lanzar Car Audio. Little bit more pictures. Here we go. The lady with the parrot. I think I've seen her before, dude. It says, Christie's Macaw had a bird eye's view. Dude, this picture right here. She's wearing the 90s outfit, the 90s hair. She's at the lowrider car show that to me um that's what i think of when i think of the 90s like that kind of style same thing with this guy right here you know super light colored jeans well just the jeans um this fool right here the dad the bulky white shoes long socks shorts this was wearing shorts too you don't really see too much of the old school slacks no more. Man, this is super cool. I love this. Old memories, new memories, taking it to the streets. Some more pictures, people with their cars. Duke's Car Club. 10 CDs to 10 CDs or cassettes for one cent. That's really good. I'd be down to get some cassettes. Street tattoo. Two. Do you two tattoo? Two. Back in 1993, the original street tattoo belonged to George Ramos of El Paso, Texas, Imperial Car Club's member. Now it's back in California. New owner, Danny Ariaga, also of, Imp of Imperials. Also, this is a 59 Chevy Impala. Nice. It was also um, 1993 low rider of the month. Yeah. But why is the picture so small? Ah, that was it. And right here. Okay, I'm trying to get the glare out. Magic's Pride. Damn, dude. That one looks like a sick ass picture. Feed him ass model sick ass ride is this another impala 65 chevy impala all right so we got a 59 and a 65 super nice 63 impala damn so this was the magazine of impalas huh this is 63 snazzy what a chip off the old block 
Orale, a new a new advertisement. That's what I like to see. Radical Road Show. Looking for hydraulics. Who are these fools? That's the only thing I don't know. I think that's their name on the top left over here. Damage done. Damage done. Dema Demageran. Damn. Whatever, I'll read it later. Some Joker dude. You're gonna destroy the Joker car. 65 Impala, Mr. Blue. Father's knows best. And that's pretty cool. Father and son kind of story. Tijuana Gold. And that's pretty cool to have a um, like gold themed cars. 66 a 66 Chevy Impala. This is a 65. Pretty cool. I wish this picture over here was a bit bigger. But it's all good. Damn, the Punch 84, dude. This was also like in the inside of the front cover. Man, I love these trucks. This right here is crazy. There's so many panels. And then on top of the panels, there's so many color colored rectangles. Damn, beautiful model. And this is a... Damn, I can't really find the, the build, but damn. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Budweiser girls coming correct. Sick ass troquita. I wonder if this car is still alive today. Boom. Fuck. Man, that's a hella nice poster. Damn, dude. This truck is beast. And from the front and from the back. Puro eye candy all the way. Man, this looks good from the front, from the back, from the sides, bird's eye point of view, under the car point of view. <laughs> wow, dude, this is amazing. And the windows are all tinted black. Usually, um, I don't see lowriders that are tinted black. I think, um, I don't know why. I think it's just because um, part of the classic style is having the windows just normal, you know. But I guess... Um, Pretty interesting that they tinted the windows. I think by tinting the windows, it also makes the color pop a little bit more. But also looks good with the wheels. Man, beautiful. And then right here, you have a little bit more pictures of the in the engine and underneath. I think they have some. That's really cool, man. Super nice truck. Punch 84. Owner, Kenny Gonzalez from Turlock, California. And the model, Annabelle Mesa. Damn, Annabelle. The one that got away. Ah, just kidding. 20th anniversary tour. Lowrider Magazine needs your help again. Pretty cool convertible. Gets a little sticky over here. This is an advertisement. Euro wheel. Another funky advertisement. The eagle has landed. Here we go, Wicked Love, Blazer, XTS, XTC, my bad. Oh, Ecstasy. <laughs> Wicked Love and Blazer, Ecstasy. Look out for this Rocky Mountain Low. Both trucks with campers. I think out of these two, this one right here is my favorite one. The baddest Blazer in Oaktown. Yeah. Both go hard though. 
freaking Blazer Ecstasy, dude. It's called the Fro. The Speech. The Lowrider Arte. Then we travel to Amigos Fiesta. Fourth annual Amigos Car Show. Here we got Jimmy Dixon's 81 Coupe de Ville. I think the Coupe de Villes are Cadillacs. Man, that's a sick ass green color. Sick ass green um, with the black right here and on the back. People checking out the rides. Is that Daza? Right here? That's Daza, dude. Cesar Aldino's 47 Fleet Line. Freaking Daza. Spotted. Here we go. This picture right here looks pretty cool. Local beauty behind the wheel of Unlimited Car Club Cruiser. San Diego's Fly Girls. Super sick. The homeboys, the homies. And then it says right there, Ebony brought her dad. Always cool. And father and daughter. Alamin, Cream Non City. Cream City. Pretty cool advertisement. Rock and Roll Gangster, Cream City, Lonely Princess. Lisa Lisa, Complete Hits. Four new songs, Rocky Padilla, JV, the new album by Thump Records. Lisa, Lisa, Lowrider Magazine, how to boost the economy. Here at last. Damn, that 96 calendar looks beast. What? Grasshopper? <laughs> I like how they got creative with the lettering. It's all kind of crunchy down here. Trying to see the model a little bit better. Man, the color on this is crazy. This one has murals, a tongue and cheek tribute to, Chi to Chi Chan Chong. A tongue and cheek tribute to Chi Chan Chong. A 79 Chevy Malibu um, open top. That's pretty sick, dude. I haven't seen an open top in a while. Super nice. The inside. The seats are um, MJ leaves. Man, that's super cool. I don't think I've ever seen that. Sting wheel is freaking legit. And they got little marijuana leaves painted on the bottom. What? That's freaking sick, dude. The murals, you know, you know they're just sexy women with clowns. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um. That's pretty cool. And I wish um, there were a few more pictures of the grasshopper. It was a big project, but my family and friends gave me so much support and helped out a lot. Oh, yeah, dude. Blaze it up. Blaze it up. The leprechaun. Come on. We need a decent color. Here we go. Can't really read his hat. But that's a pretty cool bike. Easy E, what is this fool doing in the Lowrider magazine? Straight off the streets of Mother in Compton, one final album, 14 new songs. Hell yeah. T shirts, hats, cars. Mail in roll call, some drawings, lowrider arte. I think that's about it. And the grasshopper was the last ride. No, wait, scratch that. The leprechaun was the last ride. Oh, here we go. Damn. Back shot or what? 
OST. No, most people feel music with their hearts. We like to start a little lower. This, who wrote this, man? <laughs> Bass shaker. Man, this is a pretty cool issue. Lowrider Impala's. Peace.